pretty guys got another video here for you this is a quick video on how to create a bootable usb flash drive uh, with any type of windows we're going to be using windows 10 here and we're going to be using powershell now you're going to need a few things here to get this working you're going to need some code which i've got here and we're also going to need to have our iso image and our usb flash drive this is our usb flash drive you can see it's empty right now it's plugged into my computer and we've also got our ISO image, which is inside my C root directory inside a folder called ISO. And this is important because we need to uh, locate this uh, path, okay? So basically, uh, we're all pretty much set to go. So first off, we're gonna copy the first bit of code. And uh, you can see here what this is gonna do. It's basically gonna format the uh, file system to FAT32. And I'm just going to do this in PowerShell and you'll see what happens here. So I'm just going to go to PowerShell right now. I'm going to right click on the uh, start button here and go PowerShell with admin. This will open up our PowerShell. From here, I'm just going to paste this in. And you can see the yellow here. Where, where's the object? Uh, outgrid view, clear disk, new partition, format volume. So we're just going to push enter and this will open up now this is really important you want to make sure that you don't have any other usb uh, drives here if you've got usb drives down here you're going to get yourself into a few problems if you format the wrong one okay so make sure you're not going to do that so i'm going to be just having my drive plugged in here and we're going to click ok and it's going to continue to do that task for us there we go that's already finished it's that quick so that's formatted that and got that ready for us. We can leave PowerShell open. All I need to do now is go to my next uh, command here, which we're going to put in. And you can see here, C uh, colon backslash ISO backslash Windows dot ISO. That is my Windows ISO where I've got it located. OK, now you may need to want to change this to suit your needs, but that's where it's going to be for me there. OK. And you also may want to change the name. Mine's called windows.iso. That's the ISO I've downloaded from a Windows 10 uh, site. Okay. Push enter. And uh, this will just uh, do its thing there. You can see if I go here now, it's mounted uh, our ISO. Now, next up, what we're going to do here is copy this last one here now again uh, we're just gonna paste this straight in it's gonna push paste there now you can see it's found my volume here which is my F drive which is my USB flash drive okay so just make sure that you've got everything right before you push enter so I'm gonna push enter here and you should see a load of uh, code going up on the screen here don't worry about that just let it do its thing okay so that's just uh, finishing off now as you can see here so just let that finish and i think it's a really cool way of uh, doing things so much quicker There we go. And once you see a PS G colon backslash boot or whatever yours says at the bottom, once you've finished here, we can close this off. And uh, if we come here now, we can uh, unmount these. So if you want to eject these, just right click on these and eject them. OK, that's all you need to do. I did one earlier. So. So there we are. That's the USB flash drive. It's now ready to go and uh, we have all our files on there ready to go we can install windows server we can install windows 10 whatever it is you want from that usb flash drive very useful and very quick and easy uh, to do and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can create your own bootable usb flash drives with uh, your version of windows on it using uh, the powershell 
Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll try and leave all the information in uh, the video description. It'll probably be posted on my forum, so you can go over there and copy and paste those in and give it a try yourself. But please be warned that it is quite risky using uh, PowerShell because things can go wrong if you select the wrong drive. Anyway, thanks again for watching. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.